Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, November 7th, 2017, and we're honored to have with us in the studio Slaughter Beach Dog. <laughs> My family left the city in the year 2004 Yeah, the bishop spun my mother around me Pushed her out the door And the blindfold was tied the double knot She's peeking out in the Goodwill parking lot
to be home Slaughter Beach Dog. What is up? Welcome. Thank you guys so much for Thanks coming for out. Us. Yeah, absolutely. Um, for those who don't know, there's an awesome Far Out session that we did with Jake a while back that you can check out, but it's awesome to have them uh, here full band in the studio. I would like to start out by asking about Settlers of Catan. Um, is this a new <laughs> Is this a new passion uh, for you guys? It's like relatively new. Okay. We haven't totally sold Zach yet. Okay. But what, what, what are you not sold settle. on? <laughs> yeah, you know, are you just not a board game person? Uh, or? Not entirely. Okay. But, you know, 
I told him I'd play at some point. We'll get we'll get into it. Yeah, okay. you brought the okay. board. It's yeah. in the van. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm so gonna play on the board first before. Uh, okay, I get before the, the you app before you yeah, get okay. into the app. We're, we're on, on the, the app. Sometimes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So so what's the difference? I mean, obviously it's much smaller, but it, does it work <laughs> the same way? Yeah. Uh, it's a little more fast paced. A little yeah. more fast paced. You can. The big thing is you get to play it in the van. Yeah. Right. So the board <laughs> the games. Big like a the fun doesn't have to stop. The big social thing, and then the app's kind of like I just need a fix right now. Yeah. I need I this buzz. Yeah. So are you guys playing together, or like you're playing a computer, it's or a or combo. maybe both? Both. Yeah. It's oh. a combo. Both. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have um like advanced strategy. I know that one strategy is like the development card route. If yeah, you go for that's, or that's we usually cheat. mine. Development that's cards fine. win the game. In, in yeah, game. they do because you usually get longest army and the then you can get, or then, sorry, lar- largest yeah. army yep. and then you can get cities a little quicker and too. And also, yeah. have those victory points in there. Just VPs. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, but you, you the hidden VPs. Yeah, but you but I guess in this case then you won't know you get them or they flip up. Like do they well, I'm just trying to You know you in, get them but no one else knows. Yeah. Right. You see what you have. Right. And then you're at eight, and they're like, "Oh, he's two away." But yeah. then you flip it. Okay. So you're a settler. You know. Yeah, you, I, you know what you're talking about. I know about. the game. Yeah. I just. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm a settler yeah. quite yet, but I do know the game. I I just recently played with some like pretty board gamey people, yeah. and they just like whoop my ass. Yeah. And yeah. like I thought, I thought I knew the game, and I thought it was pretty like elementary for lack of a better term but like man when you know what you're doing their yeah. strategy yeah, yeah their strategy. they got pretty serious yeah. about it the only thing i knew is the development card thing yeah. and then outside <laughs> of that I did. yeah i mean it's like guess it works yeah. okay um you can go into your next set uh the only other thing i want to ask about is uh philly music fest uh you guys played yeah. it a while ago i just didn't yeah. know about it that's that's really cool it's i guess all i thing. wanted to say okay um and yeah it was neat also for like a first time event it was really well Executed. Organized, okay, yeah, and executed. totally. It Very was really cool. neat. Um, yeah, it was all Philly bands, was a ton of bands. There were a bunch of people there, and it was a good time. It was really cool. And they also donated a ton of money to charity. Cool. So yeah, it was, hopefully it happens again next year. Sweet, it was awesome. Yeah, yeah. And was it um, two stages or just yeah, one? Yeah, it was two rotated? stages at a uh, World Cafe in cool. Philly. It was neat. Very cool. All right, yeah. Give us some more music, and then we'll talk again. <laughs>
by row, row by row. Uh, you mentioned a recording studio that you two have worked on together. That you have is that back yeah, in yeah. Philly? Yeah, indeed. Uh, Jake and I a couple years ago uh, found a space and uh, built it up for about half a year, and then opened it in like what January of 20, 2016. Okay, so fairly but, recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've been building it up ever since. It's and, been uh, long and slow. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. As yeah. as that goes, right? <laughs> Just like slowly picking up gear and stuff like that. Is that yeah. what takes a while? Gear. We actually uh, built new walls on top of the walls that were there and uh, mm-hmm. raised the flooring a okay. little bit and for stuff for soundproofing like that. G- measures. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. we're still working on it now, but yeah. pretty much. Um, in the spring when uh, our old band, Modern Baseball, yeah. kind of s- stopped touring for a little while, sure. we realized this is our time to do this. To do this. Mm-hmm. And yeah. so we did it. And one of the first big records we did was the Slaughter Beach Dog record. Okay, Welcome yeah. or, or uh, Birdie? Birdie. Birdie. Okay, yeah. cool. Birdie. Yeah. Since we Got like it. really hunkered down. And Got it. Very cool. And yeah. so then have you done other, I don't know, friends records or like yeah. one-off sort of things with other yeah. people there as well? We do our friends bands and every now and then we'll have people come into town to record stuff with us and they just like crash at the studio. Cool. But uh, yeah, it's like whoever wants to, yeah. who knows yeah. Who knows our name. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, we'll check them out then in that sense. What um, dreams for it or like vision for it? I mean, are there certain items gear-wise you want or like, you know, certain... I don't know. Oh. Yeah, just goals uh, for yourselves. <laughs> yeah, that that part's never ending. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There's <laughs> always new leads. things. Yeah. Ten- yeah. <laughs> do you have like a control room situation? We like do this? have a control okay. room. We yeah. do have yeah. a control room. No Very window. Cool. Okay. But no. <laughs> control room. You have to just hear the people <laughs> no, right there. It's a nice no, place. Uh, don't let them sell no, it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. They're trying to fake it like yeah. it's uh, just a basement. It's a nice spot. It's a nice spot. Yeah. My mom's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so then uh, interest in recording comes from, I mean, being in bands, but what specifically draws you to like that side of it versus this side performing, you know, songwriting? It's really the the creation aspect. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it kind of is the place where at least personally, I feel most comfortable like okay. taking risks, yeah, doing, experimenting with stuff, having yeah, the time to experiment and actually like, you know, uh, getting creative. Yeah. 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 Totally. Sure. So. Yeah, that's that's really the and then of kind it. of like taking the time to find cool sounds on records, but then like going further and trying to figure out how to implement that when you go to play the record. Right. Like specifically, yeah. try to make it sound as good as you can, but within the parameters of performing it also. Right. Okay, that's cool. I understand that. Yeah, sort of giving yourself limits in yeah. that sense when you're performing. Very yeah. cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, uh, thanks for sharing. Uh, go ahead and give us the next song.
You're watching Slaughter Beach Dog on Audio Tree Live. Um, you guys can prep up to go into that last one, and I'll just pick on Jake for a second. Um, uh, the thing that strikes me about Slaughter Beach Dog, as opposed to previous projects and even like watching its evolution, um, is that you have a really uh, like conversational tone. You have a good way of, I think, like pointing out mundane, maybe has negative connotations to it, but sort of like oh, mundane yeah, totally. things in yeah. life. I'm just curious where that interest comes from or how you sort of found yourself, I don't know, putting those little bits into yeah. songs. Um, I think how it happened, well, I know how it happened, I guess, was... Uh, <laughs> With uh, bands that I like, and even books that I like, really, I noticed that uh, as weird as it was to figure it out, those were always the things that held my interest the most, more than anything. Okay. Like, I would get so bored by songs or books that were just, uh, I don't know. Like, if anything was really specific, as mundane as it was, then that was the thing that grabbed me and kept me reading or listening. Sure. So I started, in my normal life, when I would think of a phrase that struck me that way, or like saw something and then processed it, and it kind of hit me in the same way that one of those records or books that I liked did, then I would sure. just write it down in my phone. And so I just, like, my life is just an ongoing log of these, like, of little, these little interesting bits. moments. And anytime I feel, like, inspired to write a song, then I kind of just sit down and I look at this list that I have and go from there. Okay. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. I just realized that that's what I really like. Cool. So I guess it's a little bit uh, self-serving, but... I don't know, yeah. I just find it really interesting, so I try to do it. And yeah, stuff. I mean, maybe self-serving, but also sort of fulfilling, right? Like, yeah. if you like that, why not do it, Totally, I guess? Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a really great video for viewers uh, that's just the writing of Birdie, and it's mostly <laughs> Jake just doing this at things in and around <laughs> London. But it also has you scribbling a lot into a notebook, so I assume maybe yeah. that's what you're doing in those moments. Yeah, that was like, uh, that's the really funny version of it. Yeah, but okay. in reality, <laughs> it's not super far off, as yeah. opposed to like a, a notebook with a double decker bus on it. It's like the memos in my phone. Yeah, sure. I write down little things, and you know, yeah. So cool. It's pretty much. And then uh, to transition into the song you're about to play, um, moving into that a little more like direct speaking versus singing thing. Yeah. Where, where does that come from as well, or what um, what draws you to to moving in that direction? Yeah. Well, I guess it's kind of. For me, it's kind of natural just because I'm, when I listen to music, I'm like totally just in it for the words. Mm, so mm. this is the, this is like the ultimate <laughs> song, song for me because, <laughs> yes. yeah, there's like no bullshit. It's just words. Doesn't matter. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. I really, uh, honestly, I think right before I wrote this song, I went to see Cherry play at the outdoor thing at Christopher Columbus Park and uh, <laughs> they played that song, uh, I forget what it was. Russell had written a song that was kind of similar, and I had never, uh, I had never seen like one of my friends do that because it's yeah. a little bit scary to basically almost like rap a song. Definitely, and I was like, that's kind of freaky. But I saw Russell do it, and he's like an incredible songwriter. And he just pulled it off. And I was like, that's freaking cool. I want to try that. Yeah. So oh, Well, I think you do a great job. Thank so you. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and, and uh, play it. I saw her in a dream, sitting in the bookstore lobby, sitting on a bench on Baltimore and reading Murakami, slipped with salt beneath the sun, her hands now tying up her hair, one pair of deeply tinted shades reflects my unbelieving stare, and at once, I am taken. She asked me what I wanted, as if one ever really knew, and I said, no domestication, to pursue another love, another touch, another tired conversation And then she shut her nettle sharply and proposed a new location And at once, I have lied Details for new protests, adorn white printer paper flyer She says I feel so old admitting counterculture makes me tired She leads me into the cafe, her intention Exact. It is 104 degrees, she takes her coffee hot and black, and it was I am a strand. She suggests we settle down, we need to settle down for good She knows the perfect place on Martha Street in her old neighborhood And then a taxi sounds a horn, and it is full of all our things And it is parked outside the cafe, and the driver sounds Incredibly, we merge onto the freeway. She rolls her window down completely. The driver. 
driver dials into a station and then she smiles at me discreetly. She says I love this song, then turns away and tracks the clouds. The driver curses into conviction while heavy metal drummer plays us out. studio with Slaughter Beach Dog. You can get Birdie, which is out now on Lamo Records, and there are two, an EP, Motorcycle, and uh, Welcome, a full length before that as well. So uh, check out all Slaughter Beach's material. Uh, they're on tour with Shannon, is it Mosier or Moser? Moser. Moser. Shannon Moser uh, through the U.S. promoting Birdie, and uh, there's a show tonight at the Beat Kitchen, so if you're in or around the Chicago area, check them out. Thank you so much for Thank performing. You. Yes. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks to yeah. awesome Thank people you. in the studio and sound engineers, Cameron Lighting crew for making it look beautiful and viewers thanks for watching you can support the band by downloading or streaming the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or them if you just want to connect from all of us here at the audio tree studios thanks for tuning in goodbye thank you very much everybody <laughs> <laughs>